what we're talking about tonight is something that will take you back to when you were born is something that will take you back to the day they will give you your name your name means ceremony day many of us I may not even know the number of names they gave to us that day and many of us not even know who suggested your name or who gave you your name this has ensured that a lot of people go about with witchcraft names thereby renew the covenant for start demotion these men saw the star of jesus they traveled all the way from the east they placed themselves in peril and they spent a lot of money just to see the owner of this star in the olden days in this country and even now in some areas immediately a child is born they carry out a spiritual investigation into the future of that child and once they look at that one this is where the trouble of many begins this is why some people never went to school because they have investigated the star and say if this one goes to school we shine so don't let him go if this one marries a proper husband this one will shine so quick 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 give her a demonic boyfriend in primary school they started because they could see to it the enemy does not attack people with inferior qualities but when it says that the quality of your life is superior you come under attack now the mystery is this unto every man and woman a space in the heaven has been allocated that's why the bible talks about thy heavens which is over thy head each man has an allocation in the air space over his head and in addition everyone has a star they say we have seen a star in the east we have seen a star in the east and this is why we have come to worship him so sometimes when this star is known to wicked people they begin to do all kinds of strange things against that star they begin to attack the progress of such people they begin to program words into the star of an individual so the person will not experience progress so a lot of people are under this star bondage that star is like an embodiment of your destiny like a carrier of the destiny of the person and so there are terrible evil people this is what they specialize on if god opens your eyes and sometimes you go to a naming ceremony you can see spiritual stars on the head of that baby sometimes shining with different colors of gold silver and sometimes the astrologers will read this star from the palm of a person but thank god if somebody's stars has not been destroyed you can recover it easily through some prayers but if it's like daniel chapter 8 it has been cast and they stamped upon it then you need to specially pray for a creative miracle the prayers tonight are to be prayed in boiling great anger i must have shared this with you before two men quarreled at a naming ceremony of a child and they were shouting at each other and no one knew why they were fighting but the truth is that the two men were occultic men they came there they said they want to come and do naming ceremony with them but they were quarreling so why do you take everything ah, out of seven leave three for me ah, leave two for me ah, you can't take everything you can't take everything and they started fighting before the kunowa was happening and the man of god there intervened what happened was that immediately they brought the baby out for dedication for naming seven stars appeared on the edge and this occultic man was collecting them collected one two three four so his friend who was also there was believing that after collecting for he will stop so that he can collect the other three but the stars were so bright the man collected all seven and they started quarreling amen that child got that mercy by the time he enter school when they say two plus two you say three because he's so confused the stars have been stolen away close your eyes again brother you will say this with boiling anger say it the way you have never said anything before that power of darkness i jack in my star yeah! in the name of jesus yes released you from the power that has caged you tonight is tonight released 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 from their grip 
continue, continue. Something is happening over there. Something is happening over there. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. We are making good progress. The Bible talks in the book of Jude. The Bible talks about wandering stars. That is, a person's star can be programmed to wander. So the person is just moving around like a vagabond. A vagabond. From this place to that place. From that thing to that thing. No specific aim in life. The star has been programmed to wander. Programmed to wander. 1981, we were inside a train in London. I was inside that train too. Two Nigerian women were sitting in that train. When the train stopped at a particular station, one man entered, the black man. Saliva was on his beard. His hair was rough and dirty. He looked like somebody who has been dug out of the ground. His clothes were smelling. So he sat down. And this woman started speaking. They were speaking Yoruba. Look at this one now. Look at this one. Oh, look like somebody who has, who has been removed from the toilet. Immediately this train, so let us go to another place. Oh. Don't let us stay here. Oh. I could understand them. They were speaking Yoruba. But they didn't know whether I'm a Nigerian or not. So that's what they were speaking about. This matter just entered. All of a sudden, to their amazement, the fellow they were talking to open his mouth and said, Konik Dahumba Bayi. I said, hey. The minute the train stopped, the woman ran out. There was a man. The day he left Nigeria, somebody probably celebrated a party. Not knowing that as he went, the star was programmed to wander and get nothing. There are several wicked things that can be done to a person's star. Number one thing is that it can be shut down. When it is shut down, the person becomes a living corpse. The star can be dimmed. When it is dimmed, the person will lose his former glory. The star can be covered. When it is covered, the person expires. I pray that you and I will not expire in the name of Jesus. The star can be obstructed. When it is obstructed, the person stagnates. The star can be caused to sink. When it is sunk, the person will live on past glory. The star can be exchanged. When it is exchanged, the person will live a fake life. And everywhere the person goes, there will be a big sign saying, Road closed. So everything, road closed. Road closed. The star can be caged. So, really, the person is shining, is brilliant, intelligent, but is not moving. The star can be tampered with. They tamper with it. So the person will keep dreaming of good things, but that good things never happen physically. So a lot of wicked things could be done to the star. Like I said before, the star could be caused to wonder. There's roaming all over the place. Roaming all over the place. And wickedness will now capture the person. So tonight, I want you to know that these things that I'm saying now may sound very strange to some of us. But then once you have been located that you are a shining star and your enemy knows that one too, the battle of your life starts. You don't have to offend anybody. You don't have to say that you don't have to steal anything from anybody. The battle will start. I pray that tonight you will be able to pray to a point of breakthrough. <laughs> I used to think that Tai and Kende are very good friends. Until the day I found a kind who said, Pray for me, sir. 
but don't call fire. In fact, the fire was the first thing I called. And she began to confess that she has placed the life of Taye on the shelf. That until she gets married and has six children, that Taye will not marry. And that she already has three. And Taye is still angry. How were they able to do that work? It dealt with a star. They dealt with a star. They held it in one position. You can't move. Close your eyes again. Every power that says my star will not move. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. He is Sati Kalebo Shenterabha. We peer the castle. Dariamo Bosati Kayabo Shanta. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You must possess your possession. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go on a little bit further. What are the strategies of these star attackers? Number one strategy. Prevention of birth. Don't want the person to be born. Sometimes the baby is born, the baby refuses to cry. They will seriously attack the mother. They've seen the star. Two. Attack in the womb. Three. Attack as a baby. Like the one I described to you where the stars and the head of that baby was cleared away on the naming ceremony day. Struggle. They struggle to take away what belongs to her. And they transpire to other people. Four. Quarrel some parents. All quarrel some parents expose the star of their children to danger. Five. five. Household witchcraft. Particularly polygamy. If you come from a polygamous home, don't let anybody give you any lecture. You need deliverance from evil star attackers. Or you check your son's name, you find him far away, me found this, far that, and the ocean, this, that, that, all those kind of terrible names. <laughs> don't let anybody give you a lecture. Your star will already have been tampered with. Six, they use envious enemies. Seven, they cause sex with satanic agents. You sleep with an agent of Satan, then you are in trouble. You might have gathered the star of the person. Eight. Dreams of spiritual thieves. You see them coming to steal from you. Nine. Food in the dream. And once there is food in the dream, sicknesses will be planted. Prayerlessness will be established. Business and marriage are paralyzed. Once there is eating in the dream. 10. Padlock bondages. They could lock up people's stars and throw them away. 11. Construction of coffins for those who are not dead. Tiny coffins for some people. Then they bury the thing. The person would not know that they've just handed over your star to Mother Earth. And the next strategy they use is this sponge people use to go and bathe. If you have ever been to the stream by a prophet or prophetess and they bath you with sponge, you need to pray hard. They might have used those the sponges to wash your glory and stars away. The next strategy is to use the air. If you are in this meeting today and you notice that some part of your air was cut off and you didn't know how it went, you need to pray. You just woke up and found as your ear has been cut off. You need to pray. Any naming ceremony that is done with anything satanic dead rats alligator pepper all those things you make your stars available to be dealt with what are we here to do tonight we're here to summon the star attackers we're here to deliver our stars from their hands and why are we preaching this kind of message tonight i saw a revelation a long queue of people in this fellowship and there was an angel carrying a bucket and inside the bucket were stars 
stars. But there was a long queue. The angel wanted to start distributing that star to people. So I began to ask questions. What is this inside the bucket? I said there are stars. And the angel kept quiet. Didn't talk again. But I still was not satisfied. I said, but why do you want to give this to them? They now answered again. They said they are stolen stars. Ah, stolen stars? The angel kept quiet again. And was not telling me much. I said, stolen from who? Sir, from them. So, but why are you just bringing these things now? Say, because nobody asked us to bring them back. Nobody asked us to recover them. So, this is why we are doing the star recovering prayers tonight. And you will see outstanding results okay. of what will happen. The Bible says, Whosoever asks, receives. If you knock, it shall be open unto you. If you seek, you find. So if you don't ask, nothing happens. And this is why the Bible said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So the first thing you should do tonight is to repent of any sin you know will hinder you. And number two is to think deeply whether there is any area in your life that you have opened the doors to these star hijackers. And the third thing you should do tonight is to pray whatever prayer I ask you to pray here the way you have never prayed before. I want us to pray that kind of prayer that brought the angel back to Samson's mother. Because the first time the angel appeared, the father did not see the angel. They requested for a reappearance. So we need to pray for a reappearance of that angel with that bucket and the stars. Because my concern that all this question I was asking him, he has not started distributing, he was just asking. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. We are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Please do so very quickly. Don't lose out on what God wants to do tonight. Say, yes, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Just raise up your right hand where you are. And say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you today. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today. I say bye-bye to the devil. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, if the star of your life is supposed to prosper in a particular geographical area and they move you to another street, they move you to another area, that's all. There are some mothers, they are talking about their little girl, a girl of uh, one or two, and they see one old man who is around 60, 70 years, 50 years. Say, Daddy, this is your wife, this is your wife. Your mother is dimming your star. Dimming your star. The person works hard and works hard and works hard. Everything you attain in life is by struggling and fighting and struggling and fighting. It means somebody is tampering with your star and speaking sluggishness into it. Get yourself ready. The first is there were some men in Babylon called wise men. And they were able by looking at the sky locate the star belonging to Jesus. Meaning, beloved, that there are men with ability to decode the speakings of the heavens. These men, they are mostly evil. Because some of the things we Christians should settle down and learn, we are not serious with them yet. We are busy fighting ourselves. Every time I see a woman die of cancer, this cancer, that cancer, that, I fold my head and say, what can we do? What kind of prayer can we pray so that this kind of thing don't kill women? These are the kind of solution evangelism we should be doing. We are still busy fighting ourselves. The demonic people can look at the heavens and know that a child is born at a nation. And that this child is going to become this, going to become that, going to become that. And right there, if they want to extend their wickedness, they can do something to that star. Like it is written in Daniel chapter 8. There are people this evening who need to pray until their voice gives way. Because the star is already cast down. Look at Daniel chapter 8. Look at what a particular power did from verse 9 to 10. This is exactly the situation now. Which is why we are gathered here this evening. Look at Daniel chapter 8 from verse 9. And out of one of them came forth a little horn, which was exceeding great. 
towards the south and towards the east and towards the pleasant land and it works great even to the host of heaven and what did he do and it cast down some of the host and of the sass to the ground and stamped upon them he cast the stars down from the heavens he now stamped on those stars so that they don't raise their head again close your eyes beloved. every power that says I will not lift my head tonight die in the name of Jesus In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He cast the stars down. And then to ensure that the thing does not rise again, he stamped on it. You say, ah, but these the stars, does it mean that these stars are human beings? In Genesis chapter 37. Look at verse 9. See, those ancient men understood many things that we don't know. In Genesis chapter 37, look at verse 9, referring to the dream of Joseph. Genesis 37, verse 9. And he dreamed yet another dream, and told it to his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more, and behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me his parents understood the dream straight away they didn't need any interpretation they knew they knew that by the sun and the moon he was referring to his father and his mother and by the stars he was talking about his brethren they understood it if they had told some of us that kind of dream we would probably say well maybe it's witchcraft power trying to attack you no the interpretation was that those are human beings. The Bible says there is one glory of the sun, there is one glory of the moon, there is one glory of the stars, but one star is greater than another in glory. When satanic powers they want to finish up a person, the first area of attack they head towards is in the womb. If you escape that one, you must say, okay, let's go for sexual attack. If they fail in that one, bring his urine. If they fail in that one, bring his feces. Bring his saliva. Bring his hair. Bring his fingernails or whatever. When they now try all these things, and they find that it's impossible to deal with the person, they now go to men who operate altars in the stars that is men and women who visit heavens men and women who visit the heavens why do men visit the heavens number one is to obtain direction they also visit heavens to obtain direction number two is to know the future because heavens speak and the heavens know number three is to cage progress Number four is to destroy people. Number five is to control situation. Number six is to manipulate whole communities. A single man in a village who can speak to the evilness is the control of the village. And they fear him exceedingly. Number seven is to manipulate wives from the evilness. Number eight is to gain advantage over other men. Number nine is to oppose God and his kingdom agenda. This is why men visit heavens. I pray that any power visiting heavens against you tonight shall be cast out and disgraced. If I were you, that is that my amen will be so loud. <laughs> Number ten Men visit the heavens to gain political leadership. 
We will explain that one at a later date. Number 11, men visit the heavens in order to dominate. 12, men visit the heavens in order to obtain protection. 13, men visit the heavens in order to get provisions and supplies. And the last but not the least, men visit the heavens in order to attack the stars of others and destroy their destinies. To attack the stars of others and destroy their destinies. Get yourself ready. The first prayer I wanted to pray. I wanted to pray the way you have never prayed here before. Every naming ceremony bondage. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Continue, continue. Masika poya bo shedera bo kapia. Ribala bo kapanda sete ya bo sha. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus, then we pray. Well, 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 well. I have not started praying that prayer yet. I started at all. There are people who might, if they pray well, they'll be amazed at the turnaround breakthrough they will have. The strange husband that has married you off on your naming ceremony day. The strange hands that carried you there. The strange permit that was applied on your ear. The strange people who gathered around to give you your name. This prayer is a deep prayer. Sisters, can you say it again loud and clear? <laughs> Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. <laughs> Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Jesus name we pray that is better thank you Jesus every evil wise man pursue my star some wise men follow the star of Jesus we are talking about anyone following your own now In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Today is today. Enough is enough. You must possess your possession in every ramification, whether the devil likes it or not. Jesus name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. The angel is back again. The angel is back again. Now I want you to pray like this. My buried glory. Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Continue, continue. Continue, continue. Look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. Please believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. From the group of wickedness. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Aha! 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 Yes! Arise! Shine! 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 Moshi kara bo sopola kaya bo shente ra bo kora bo kusente. Yes! Rika sepela kaya bo shente yaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha! The distribution has started. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every power that is attacking my star. Can you say it loud and clear? I bury you today in the name of Jesus. Aha, aha. Masse pokote rabo shente rabaka. Holy Ghost fire. Begin to approach now. Yes. Every power that has vowed to defeat you. Let them be defeated. 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 Yes, possess your possession. Possess your possession. Power of God. Flow. 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 Spirit of the living God. Move. Move. In Jesus, name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I wish you could see what is happening tonight. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yes, all this feeling glory must be restored. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. You open your mouth again like fire and like thunder. This one is a very serious matter. Every star padlock. Star padlock. The program the person start into a padlock and lock it up. And that's it. Nothing happens again. The person lives a second hand life. Can you say this with boiling anger? <laughs> Fashion against my destiny. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Open that mouth, beloved. That's why Jesus brought you here. Deal with the padlocks. Deal with the padlocks. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To put a seal on that which has happened already tonight. You will say this loud and clear. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous from the dead are the same. Say, so my destiny. Run into the strong tower of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. The man that does seem to run to that strong tower of the Lord. 
In Jesus name we pray When the star of Mordecai began to shine The first thing God did Was to remove sleep from the eyes of those who would help him And the king just could not find sleep Until he remembered Mordecai You will raise up your voices like thunder Power to remember Fall upon my helpers in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, those who do not know me shall fight for my cause. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Wonderful God, we thank you for this.